Hello everybody, back here again for another vlog a day, and today is Sunday the 13th, and today was a beautiful day to be alive. Um, I guess that's about the only thing that's beautiful about it. Started off, we had crazy, crazy deep, like wind all night long, storms, rain, just like massive, like crazy downpours at times. I've got a little crick right out the side of my um, house here. I can see from my bedroom window, and that thing was running bank high and a little bit over the bank a handful of times. So that was definitely um, not a fun part of it. But I got up, had a few things around here get done today. Didn't really accomplish too much. Um, just really the rainy, crappy weather really kind of had me down. Then the sun came out for a little while, and I thought, hell, I've got this. I need to get my long run in. So I thought I'll go for a run. Started to get dressed. Uh, I actually started to gather my stuff to get dressed, and it started raining like hell again. So I thought, eh, maybe I'll put it off a little bit. So I kind of pushed it back a couple times. Finally went out um, to head out for my run. I had to run 13 miles today. And took off when it was just it was a light rain when I took off, almost a misty type rain. And I ended up basically wearing kind of some rain gear. It's not true rain gear, but it's what I've got. And it was that weird, fifth, like real high 50s and stuff. And the wind was insane at times 25, 30 mile an hour gust. Um, absolutely ridiculous. Then it would stop raining and it would warm up and I'd start to sweat like hell. So I'm zipping my jacket and that, trying to get some air in on me. And of course, I get too hot. And then, of course, it starts raining like hell again. So I'd spent a lot of the time running with my head way down with my hat trying to cover to protect my glasses. Um, I think I'm going to try and look into saving up some money and trying to get myself some LASIK surgery. A lot of it is just for the fact that glasses cost money, so on and so forth. But also I'm not like running like this. They won't get covered in rain. I'll still be able to see better. So I can see decent enough without my glasses right now that I can run without them. It's just, it's hard. I, can, I miss potholes. I wouldn't want to run timber without them and like mountain bike trails. But I can definitely run on the road most of the time without an issue. So I could have taken them off. And I had that weird feeling a couple times where they're getting wet enough that I was needing to take them off, throw them on my hydro pack. But instead I took them off, beat them on my knee, shook most of the water off them, threw them back on, kept on running. Um, a um, couple times it rained so hard, like it was just, I couldn't see nothing. My dog kept, about every, I don't know, 15, 20 yards, kept like shaking off all the water, like he just came out of the lake, cracked me up, and he just couldn't realize that 15 more yards was going to be that wet, he's going to do it again. So that was kind of fun. Um, ended up a couple times, like when I turned into the wind, it was so, wind was so hard, I was dropping 30 to 55 seconds per mile, which is insane drop off, and I was working way harder in that process during that time, but I was just... That wind was absolutely destroying me. Um, I went ahead and made it through it. Ended up with some weird chafings here and there I'm not really happy about. Some of the lower regions that's going to be fun to get rid of. But that kind of stuff happens. I did end up, after my run got done, I um, was walking back home. I had about a mile walk back home, which is good for your legs to kind of stretch things out and stuff and kind of keep a little blood flowing in it. Um, saw a lady out with a little Labrador um, Husky mist, I think it was. Maybe it was German Shepherd mist. So one of the two. I think it was Husky tiny little puppy nice shirt is fully weaned yet and asked if they can meet she said sure whatever no big deal and they met and bruce was like oh my god this is the greatest thing on earth and then the puppy wanted nothing to do with him so he went and smelled the yard and then he decided oh my god there just moved i gotta go play with it again so that was kind of fun the puppy was actually even scared of bruce a little bit and was scared of me and stuff but like she said it's never been introduced to anybody, but it's litter mates and it's mom. So it has no experience around other animals and stuff. So that was kind of a neat little thing there. Um, seeing this little black fuzz ball that had a Labrador face and this like really fuzzy hair. It was just actually a really cute damn little thing. So hopefully uh, I'll get a chance to see them out there a little more. Maybe get Bruce over there and play with them some more and stuff. Keep them socialized. That'll be a good little thing there. So finally got back home. My dog was just covered in the road grime the sand, the mud, the crap from me out here and the stuff. And I actually left him out in the backyard because he was just drenched and stuff. Hooked up my hose to my bathroom sink that runs out the window so I could have hot water out there. Um, well, warm water. Gave my dog a bath in the back patio, which was hilarious. I'm standing out there, basically standing on his leash, trying to hold him down so I could, not really hold him down, hold him from running away from me, so I could bathe him in the rain. Like, it's literally raining on us as I'm bathing my dog, but he was just so muddy I had to do something. So I got him all washed up, got him somewhat dried off, brought him in the house, um, finished drying him off best I could. And then, of course, it's just, that was the fun thing. He kept wanting to get in the bed. I'm like, dude, you're way too wet to be in my bed. So that right there, he's a little mad at me. Um, he's probably dry enough now. I'm going to be able to actually let him back into bed with me and for the night. So that's my main goal. Hopefully he'll be dry. If not, he'll be so pissed all night long if he's not sleeping in the bed with me. So that's um, pretty much all I had for the day. Oh, I did make some um, 
I basically made like some chicken. I grilled or um, baked some chicken with some applesauce. I seasoned them, salt, pepper, blah, blah, whatever, and put some applesauce on top. And a little bit of honey for I put the applesauce on. So I don't know what it's going to taste like when it comes out. But I had a couple pieces left over. It's too big to fit in the pan I put down. I'd already had them in there, and I'm like, screw it. I didn't want to stand up on end. I want them left flat. So I went ahead and grilled those up. Just in a, I actually fried them up in a pan, but just, yeah, nonstick, no real... You know, no fat, nothing, just a nonstick pan. And though I end up having one of those breast and a um, spinach salad with some raisins, hard boiled eggs, and some honey mustard sauce. And oh my God, was it was a giant bowl of salad. So damn good. So that right there was pretty much what my whole day was. I've got probably three days worth of food made up um, and the chicken for main cast or main course. And then I still got to do some more hard boiled eggs. So I'll probably do a couple of those salads. That thing was amazing. I'm not sure how it's going to go with the applesauce, but I'll find out tomorrow. So that's all I've got for now. I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Have yourself a safe and wonderful day. Thank you for watching.